so bad. Oh, okay. Okay, back to where we were. bottom plates. So, we are in April now. It's going fast. April. First day was six hours. So, not much hours in it. Same as today, not much hours left in the day. Just let's go and get some work done, baby. So, okay, one side completely grinded down with the sander as well, some final prep work, but I want to weld in the reinforcement beam so I can attack some final welds that I see were open yet, and then repeat and do that on the other side. First up now is to get the reinforcement beam nice and cleaned out as well. And of course, if you take this out, it's always a little bit bend so let's clean this first then off to the sand blaster to get all the rust spots out Okay, we're getting somewhere again. So now let's see how this is fitting with the adjusted bottom plates. Probably we should work it a little bit, but this should be a good way to get back in to the groove. not so bad. Luckily we made the holes with self-tapping screws that the position is always correct again and I think that is in our advantage at the moment. I need to get the bottom up just a tiny bit but at the most point fairly easy to get it back in. So this side is all easy and that side from the most part is all easy as well only here's a little bit and that's a little bit, the rest is all will fit easily. <laughs> oh, okay, so I forgot to clean out a little line for the welds. So the spot welds now on that side are terrible. Everything is burning away because of the underbody shoots. So let's quickly go under it, fix that chisel manizel and go on with the welding. Ah, never forget to clean out the stuff where you weld because, well, you can see it's burning everything away. Oh, so this side nice and burning and that side bleh. Oh, 
Okay, back to where we were. Well, this in. So, that are all the welds on that side done. Let's clean out the frame rails, clean out the final welds, sand it all down a little bit again, and then work our way to this side and do the same thing. So that should be all in, in a couple of hours. Okay, this one side, kind of happy is on how that is looking. Let's get this one prepared and get the reinforcement beam all fixed up and get this side welded in. Man, it's taking forever today. Well, let's see what we can do. like we're making some progress right now this gives me some more fun to keep on going with the project because it's getting harder and harder not because I don't want to work on it because of the time it takes and the busyness of the job that there's little time for the cadet and I want to make content so we need to push on Tomorrow again I got a little side job which needs to be on the lift so the cadet could not go on the lift yet. I want to do the bottom plates so that that will be protected as well. But of course there are some double layers of course that need to be addressed. So there will be some spot welds coming through over here. We will finish that off later but at least we got it protected and we can go on because I never know how much time I can put on it and we don't want to get any rushed again. So yeah, this is kind of getting somewhere. And look at this. You can imagine this gives some potential and some happiness of wrenching on on the cadet. When it looks like this, well, the effort pays off a little bit. So hopefully tomorrow, by the end of the day or Saturday, I can put it on the lift, put some work in the bottoms as well. Well, you will see in this episode how far I will come. Okay, now we are off to see how we got it all on the bottom. Let's see how the well through was, grind that down a little bit and put that in protective primer. Okay, so I think these spot welds went really well. Here we can see a self-tapping screw that we need to close out. And as we look at this, the weld trues went pretty good. Now this is kind of look like some nice bottom plates again. So let's get the grinder.
So, okay. That's our all the welds grinded down and it's looking really nice. I have got a couple of tiny holes or spots that I want to weld up a little bit better. So, let's address that, grind that down and then we can sand everything down to put it in the primer. That's all the welds are done as well. Everything is really looking nice now. Grinded everything down. So that means some protective layer, final grinds. And I'm not going to fully sand it because in about two weeks, I hope, I got my rotisserie back. So the cadet will go into the rotisserie and we can grind down the bottom place really neat so I can stand up straight a little bit. Not like I'm doing now with tired arms and this is not the best way to do this so let's wait for that on the rotisserie and now just protect it then that, it will, that we can leave it for a while and I want to protect the inside of these inside rockers or the center rockers that are reinforcing the body so I want to protect, uh, protect that as well so it will be ready for the rotisserie and then we can make the bottom completely nice in one piece. So a lot of the welds are inside the center reinforcement. So to reach that, we got this nice little, this nice protecting stuff with this hose so we can just hose it in. That's kind of strange saying. We can spray it in, right? So I want to get a couple of spots all the inside protected before we go on. So I'm going to leave this for a bit and probably will check back later if it's gone everywhere or it's coming out everywhere. But most of the insides are protected now as well so we can slowly go on to the rest. And from up here, well, this is looking like that we're getting somewhere. Not a bad result. So, well, yeah, those spot welds burned through a good as well. We need to address that. Get that in the primer and then leave it this way for a while. So, when it's on the ramp this way, now it's nice and low again. The next job for me, in my plan, is to get the bulkhead done. There are a couple of rust spots that we need to clear out, reinforce. The steering mounts and then finish up the engine bay and we can start cleaning out or do we go work our way backward first let me see but that's it for this episode another week's done another week flew in by we got a lot of stuff protected the bottom plates are done so that's feeling really good that we made some really big progress in getting this finished someday. Now, actually it started to feel like that we're going to get this finished. Because those were the big 
pieces that were a bit unknown on how bad the trailing arm mounts were. But we got that fixed, we got the bottom plates back in. So now it's all, in my opinion, tiny rush spot or easy work. So thank you all for watching. Go buy some merch next week. There will be more merch, but the hoodies are online. So go buy some hoodies, support the channel. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.